So hydrogen, hydrogen has one electron. We know that it was one zero zero plus one half for its set of quantum numbers. Now all we have to do to describe where hydrogen's electron is, is draw something called an electron configuration. That's what we call them. One, because that's the n number. Now, one zero was the L value for the quantum number, so that's abbreviated with the letter S we just saw, so it's 1S. Now how many electrons does it have in the 1S orbital, this hydrogen? It's got one electron there, that plus one half. So there we go, hydrogen is 1S1, and that's called the electron configuration. Now look at helium. Helium's electrons, we know that there were two in the 1S orbital, it's 1, 0, 0 plus one half and 1, 0, 0 negative one half. So we go 1S, Two, and that's the electron configuration for helium. Oxygen. Oxygen was 1s2, filled that s orbital, and now we have to go to the next one. Now remember, when we went to n equals 2, l still equals 0, and 0 is an s. So, 2s. How many electrons fills the 0? Well, only a maximum of 2. So it was 1s2, 2s2. Now we went from 2, 0 to 2, 1 in the set of quantum numbers to get the electron uh, quantum number sets for electrons numbers 3 through 8. So what are we going to do? That's actually electrons 5 through 8. So what are we going to do now to describe the energy level 2 and the orbital? We go from s to p. And so it's p. 2s, 1s2, 2s2, 2p, how many electrons left? There are four left, and all of them went into the 2, 1 set of quantum numbers. And so it's 2p, 4. You want to make this a lot easier? Watch how it works on the periodic table and it becomes a snap. This is so beautiful. It really is. You, don't, you might not think I'd get out much, okay? But this really, this is just exciting. Hydrogen is 1s1. Helium has its two electrons, 1s2. Then lithium is 1s2, 2s1. 1s2, 2s2. 1s2, 2s2, but the outermost electron now must be 2p1. Outermost electron, 2p2, 2p3, 2p4, 2p5, 2p6. Then where's the outermost electron for sodium? It's at n equals 3 in that set of quantum numbers, so it's a 3s1. Outermost electron, 3s2. Then 3p1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You getting the idea? Look, on the periodic table, here's how we block it. Hydrogen and helium are in the 1s. Then this is a 2s block. Then this is 2p. This is 3s. This is 3p. So all of the p block of the periodic table is here. This is sectioned off as the p block. These are the s orbital blocks here, where the outermost electron is in an s orbital here, p orbitals in here. But what about this section in here? Scandium, watch me give it its electron configuration. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. But you know, at n equals 3, we didn't finish that because at n equals 3, l can be 0, 1, and 2. That's what the l is. And that stands for s, p, and d. There are d orbitals at n equals 3. Where's the D block? Right here. And the D block starts at 3 here and then goes 4D and 5D. So this is the 1S, 2S, 2, 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S, 7S, that S block. Over here we've got 2P, 3P, 4P, 5P, 6P. But in the Ds, the Ds start at 3. Why do the Ds start at 3? Because at N equals 2, you can only have L equal to 0 and 1. That's S and P. There are no Ds at N equals 2. The Ds start at N equals 3, and it's this section here. 
And if you actually, now stay with me, okay? If you actually go n equals 3, l equals, and then we go all the way to 2, okay? Then that means that the ml can equal negative 2 to positive 2. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. That's five suborbitals that can hold a total of, times 2, 10 electrons. Oh my goodness, look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 elements in the D block. How many electrons can the P orbitals hold? 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah! It's beautiful! 50 years before anybody ever came up with orbitals and things like that, Mendeleev made his periodic table like this because he just grouped elements together with similar properties going down and increasing atomic mass going across. Do you see how beautiful this all is? That we can actually derive all of these orbitals and quantum numbers right from the periodic table. And by the way, down here, sorry my periodic table looks kind of gimbal, this right here is that F block that we've looked at with that N equals 4, we can get an an L equal to 3, which corresponds to the letter F. F has 14 electrons maximum that it can hold, these F orbitals. This is the 4F, and this is the 5F, because F starts at N equals 4. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 elements! Oh, this is beautiful! Don't you think?